Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. Um, I meant to do a video on this guy earlier this month, but I just got sidetracked and there were so many like, you know, fights that were on I was covering and you no know, work commitments. I just didn't do a, this guy a video because I just, it just slipped through the cracks. But I want to rectify that. And that fighter is Ada Jofra, the great Brazilian the best Brazilian fighter of the lot and one of the greatest fighters ever. Arguably the greatest bantamweight world champ ever. Um, I can't think offhand of a better bantamweight champ. I mean, this guy this, this guy was a true great, a true Hall of Famer, uh, Ada Joffre. Um, he had a 19-year professional career going from 57 to 76. Um he initially won the NBA uh, world in inverted commas title, which the NBA uh, predates the, the WBA. I think it, I think the National Boxing Association it was became the World Boxing Association. Um, but very often NBA, the people that held the National Boxing Association titles were not considered universally to be the world champ. So Joffre um, won that title, defended it, and then. Uh, fought Johnny Caldwell, who was the EBU champ, and the winner of that was recognised as the world champion, and Joffre stopped Johnny Caldwell in 10 rounds. Um, he then went on to make, I think, nine defences. Was it nine? I may, I may not have that right. But everyone was a knockout. And Joffre finished his career uh, with 72 wins, 50 KOs, two defeats and four draws, now, of the four draws, it was three guys that held him to those four draws. One drew with him twice. Uh, Joffre beat the lot in returns. I can't remember offhand whether they were all knockouts, but he definitely beat the three guys that held him to those four draws. The only person who beat him and beat him twice was the great Japanese fight, fighter fighting Harada. And Harada split decisioned him and took his title. Joffre had a return over in Japan and got, uh, it was a unanimous decision to return with. So that was the only fighter that beat him. And Joffre, you know, he retired in 1967 after the second, I think it was after the second Harada fight. I don't think he had any more fights after that, before he retired. But then he made a comeback. He made a comeback in um, 69, 1969. And he was 33, he was already 33. And he went on a string of wins. Um, and eventually won the WBC featherweight title. So he was a two-weight world champ. And those were the days when winning belts in different uh, different divisions, you know, wasn't an easy thing. Um, but Joffre did it. Joffre did it. I mean, he's a great, great fighter, this guy. And in Brazil, he's a legend. But he deserves to be a legend, you know, amongst boxing fans, especially younger boxing fans. Check this guy out. I'm sure there's stuff on YouTube. You know, he's... He, a brilliant fighter, only ever beaten once. Um, he beat people like Jose Legra, um, Vincent Saldivar, although Saldivar was past his best and I think was on the comeback trail himself. Um, you know, go on box rec, look at his record. It's very, very impressive. It's so like I say, 72 wins, two, only two defeats, those two to fight in Harada, who himself was a great, great champion. And um, four draws, all, all avenged. Um, what a fighter this guy was. Um, Ada Joffre, 86 years old when he died. And uh, I think it was the 2nd of October he died. Sorry, Ada, I've only just got around to doing your your video, but much love to you, wherever you're gone. Check this guy out. He's worth, he's worth studying. So anyway, just thought I'd do that little video on this guy. One of the greats, one of the absolute greats. Brazil's greatest fighter and probably the greatest bantamweight ever. I can't think of a better one offhand. There are. People in the in the argument, but I'd give it to Joffre. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Much love to all of you. We'll speak again soon. Bye bye for now.